In this video, we will create our application bar. Let's start this. First of all, we will need to create a new page for this one. And we will go over the library and say new folder. This one will be home page. Here we go. Oops, it's not a new folder. Sorry for that. I will delete and I will uh, create a new file. And it's home page dot dart. Here we go. In this one, we will import the material dot dart flutter. This one. After what we can do is create our state um, state full widget because we will refresh things inside this one. So we use the stateful W that will create this. Then we change the name for home page. We change the name of the class for home page. We can remove the key. And then inside uh, the return, we will return the another scaffold. Here we go. In this one, we will have a uh, app bar. So I will write app bar argument and app bar widget. Here we go. I will format document. And here we have our new page but we need to call on the main this page. Let's do this. Inside the main, we have, if we go up, our scaffold. And in this one, we will add the body. And as you can see, we have multiple scaffold, one uh, inside the other. So we have our body, and this is what is inside the application. So this, and we will call the homepage. So we need to import it first. So we'll move this up. And we need to import this home page. So just by saying homepage.dart. And now we can call it right here inside the body home page with the curly uh, with the bracket. Here we go. So this is pretty nice. Next step, what we will need to do is uh, change the color of this app bar. Okay, first of all, we will make it uh, white, or we can do it even transparent. We will go right inside the team data on our material material app. We have the team and the team data. What the team data do is it will uh, keep all the value. By example, if you want your application bar white, so you will write it there and you will be able to change every app bar inside your application by this color. So it's, it is very to centralize information. So we will say uh, app bar team argument and this one take if we go over a bar team so app bar team here we go take this one inside we have multiple uh, things first we will change the elevation to put only one because instagram have a little elevation for the app bar next step i will put the comma format document if you remember format document it's always like this right click and this. so i use the keyboard command Okay, after we have the elevation, we can add the color and we can say colors dot white like that. That's good. Uh, after that, what we can say is uh, we can change the icon color so we can centralize all color of the icons inside our team data. So what we will say is icon team and we can say icon and we will use uh, icon team data or uh, widget. And inside this one, we can say color. P example, if we say colors dot pink, just to show what happened. If we use colors dot pink, you see all those will change because we are not controlling the color of those one. If we go down the man card and person, we are not changing the color. But if you are overriding the color, this uh, centralized value will not take charge. So uh, on the previous one, if they are not selected, we use it the 40, 40, 40. So color.rgbo. And we use the 40, 40, uh, 40, 40, 40, 1. If I remember well. Yeah, that's good. So now we have centralized the color of our icon, we have centralized the color of our app bar, and that's pretty much it. Now what we will do is change the value inside this app bar. Okay, 
First of all, if we go inside the home, inside this home page, we will need to first import the name Instagram and then put some icon button after. We will start with importing the Instagram name. First, we will create a new folder called the image. Image, like that. And we will import all our Instagram image. So I have created a folder called Instagram, like this. I have put many pictures of celebrities or whatever. I have the Insta title, so it is a PNG. That means there is no color in the background. We have as well an Instagram logo without color in the background because we are inside of PNG. And I have some post image, by example, random image found on the internet. You can download all those image on the internet. It's pretty much random. You can call, uh, name them post if you want, but it's not obligated. Uh, you can find this Instagram logo by saying Instagram logo on Google, uh, this one as well. And you can find the story color background. Uh, as well. It's not a problem. So you will need some post, some profile picture, some uh, the Instagram logo, the Instagram name logo, and a little uh, thing like that to show the, the stories. Okay, so we will take all those files and we will drag and drop inside image. And now we have all those image available. Okay, we will need to uh, call them inside the popspec.yam first. So if we keep this open, the uh, image, so we have all those to enter inside our popspec.yam. Inside this one, we go down until we find the asset part. We remove like this to, to delete, and it needs to be perfectly aligned. Don't remember that. Uh, after we delete two times this one, this one as, as well need to be perfectly aligned. And then we can start by adding our image. So first is one JPEG. I add this one. I will need to add one to eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I will change those number. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. The number two is a JPEG with the E. So I will add this as well. And now we have the Insta logo. So I will put this one. I will say Insta logo. The extension is a PNG. So remember to put always the good extension. Then we have the Instagram title, title like that. And we have the uh, post, all those posts until 12. We have as well the story.png that I will add right here. First, and I will say story. Then we can add all the posts. So I will copy this. I will copy and paste. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Good. So I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. That's it. We need to add post before each of them. So I need to say post and the bar copy. And now I can just take this one, use the control D, 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 control D. And I can paste all of them right here. That's good. We have all our image added inside the popspec.yam right now. Now we can use every single uh, image inside our application. I will, uh, so as you can see, the pop spec have restart. You can click on this one uh, to get all image and I will restart my application. I will close this image on the side. I will close my pop spec .yalm because we don't need it anymore. And inside our home page in the app bar, we will need to add the image asset inside the title. Let's add this. We have the title argument and because this one is a, uh, widget, we are not needed to put a text widget, but we can put any widget like the image dot asset. We have already used this one and we know how to use it. So I will say image slash insta under title dot png because if you remember my image insta under title is this one. 
Here we go. So we come back right here. I will close this image. And now, as you can see, we have the image right here. We can control the height of this image with the height argument. So I will format document first, and then I will say inside my image asset right here, I will say height. Uh, is it there? Oh no, it's inside this one, sorry. So right here, I will say height, and I will say uh, 50, by example. Now, as you can see, we have our Instagram right here. Last thing we need to add, will be the tree, uh, the icon before this one. So the, the tree icon, okay? Let's add this. First of all, we will need the action inside the app bar. We have the action argument to display multiple item in the end. And we will add the icon button. This one, we have inside the icon argument, the icon or widget. And this one take an icon data and to display an icon data, we use the icons dot and we can use one of them. So we will use the add circle outline. Good, perfect. So this is an add button. I will uh, format document and then I will go after the unpress. I will put the comma format document once again. I will change the unpress for something, an empty function. Then we are able to click on this button We'll format document once again. And now, as you can see, the button has disappeared. This is because the color of the button is white and we can change this by going inside the main and inside the team data. We control pretty much every icon, but we are not controlling the icon inside the app bar team. So we will say a comma, format document, and we will add the icon team inside this one as well with the icon. Uh, we can copy paste this one for sure. It will be quicker. So we take this, we copy, and then we paste right here as well. So we have uh, all icon and all icon inside the app bar as well for this color. And as you can see, this color change. Good. We need two more icon button and we are done for this video. Let's start this. The icon button, I will copy this one. I will paste it two more time and I will put my comma format document. And then this one will be the favorite border. The other one will be the chat bubble outline. Here we go. So we have our app bar of our Instagram uh, app. We have our bottom app bar that we can click on those two button and we are good to go for the further video. So see you on the next one. Bye.